Good morning. Today is July 21st, 20th. Wanted to share a quick update on the vine borer situation for the season. I have noticed some signs of vine borer issues, namely being that little sort of cr crusty looking stuff. And um, it's been at least a good week and a half, maybe two weeks since I noticed it on a couple of these plants. I noticed it over here yesterday and um, dug around a little bit. This one I noticed, it's been two or three days now. And I wanted to share this one especially because I did manage to get the vine borer out at least at least one out. Uh, I don't know if there were others. I don't think so. I tried to poke and prod a little bit, but the rest of the stem seemed pretty solid. So I got the one out and then I did put a pile of soil just right on top. And it wilted the first day after the little surgery, but the second day and now today, it's still looking really, really great. So um, I also noticed some comments about spraying or injecting BT into the vines so I didn't have any I didn't have any ways to inject it per se but I did spray a ton on the stems of the infected plants and this was another one you can see that that stuff right there pointer that stuff right there that that means there's something in there it's bare it's like burrowing I guess and uh, I don't know if that's the waste or just a mess from I don't know whatever it is I know it's from the vine war so again I sprayed this one was a little wilted yesterday but then it it perked back up so um I don't know if that was maybe from the heat. We are experiencing extreme heat. And uh, this one, how beautiful is this plant? Side note, side note, they're beautiful. Oh yeah, and side note, speaking of beautiful, look at these. Can you see how gorgeous? It's so hard to capture it on video. Anyway, let me see. Mm, yeah, I can't really tell. I think that one might have some issues too. But um, for now, I expected these plants to be goners last week. I put in new tiny ones and I planted seeds in between. I wanted to make sure no matter what, I'd have zucchini. And okay, and a nice pretty one right there. And again, um, I didn't, oh, two. I didn't inject this with anything, but I did spray around the areas that, look at this beauty. Ooh, that's heavy. Um, I did spray around the bottom stem where it meets the ground and where they typically invade the plant. And yeah, it's, they seem to be doing okay. Um, so time will tell a few more days or I don't know, a week we'll see, but I'm very encouraged and happy to at least been able to harvest a few more zucchini from everyone. And uh, look how nice that one is. See, this is, oh, that's just cardboard. Okay. <clears throat> Give this babe some attention. It deserves, look how nice. So, yeah, BT spray on the stem. 
might have been enough to get in there and stop that little guy dead in its tracks and hopefully um hopefully that'll keep the plants keep the plants going i love how borage puts out the pink one sometimes you can see that pretty pink one and if you haven't had these oh there's a cucumber beetle i gotta get See that down there? Mm, where'd it go? Anyway, um, yeah, if you haven't had borage, these taste a lot like a sweet cucumber. Look how pretty. The, the most ethereal of all, all edible garden flowers, maybe of all flowers, I'm not sure. Look at all the pollinators. I don't know if you can see all those. They each have their own. Yep. Um. All right. Yeah, that's it for now. Happy. Oh, you know what? Let me pop over here real quick too. I don't think I've mentioned this area before. This is my. Let's see what happens. Corner because um, it was supposed to be my lemon verbena and lemongrass corner, which I planted the spikes and these little gorgeous, incredibly delicious lemon. And uh, I dropped a basket of decorative gourds over here in the fall and I just let it da like sit here. So, um, what I have over here is, I have an autumn, autumn frost squash, I forget what it's called, and then I have, I don't know, a lot. Oh, there's a little something. I saw another one over here. There's another little guy. Um, I can't, I can't even imagine, I don't know, there's like 10 plants here, something like that, at least. The autumn butternut squash type situation was eaten early on, as well as this one. This is one of the mini jack-o'-lantern varieties, mini jack or something. Um, these both got trimmed down really bad from the rabbits, but they seem to be okay. So I still don't see any... don't see anything growing on here yet, but that doesn't mean it's not there. They have a way of tucking themselves in sometimes where you can't see them. All right, so this is a problem. Try to get this out of here, get it to go in this way. Yeah, so that's the update on the squash. Thank you very much to the people that have suggested the BT treatment. It does definitely seems to work but um again time will tell and i will keep you posted and let you know um and then yeah and also again like i said this one this one had a full full incision in it this one had its actual cut open stem again remove the the vine borer fed it to the birds and then sprayed the stem added a couple couple pots of soil and it looks like it's gonna make it so we'll see hopefully all right that's it from the garden this morning happy healthy gardening <laughs>